You forgot to remind me, Bill. You got that big sign. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm, you missed this whole first part. I'm bad. You are bad. <laughs> I never know it. Well, we'll have the notes, David, so that's good. Yes. Thank goodness. <clears throat> so stepping out. And simply start by again, just taking a moment to feel your mind moving down through your body from the crown of the head. And then going back to the top, extend your mind down through your body. Through every part, front, sides, and back. And then begin the eight gates. So you want to feel what's happening inside your body as you're doing these movements, as you're doing this breathing. Breath is not chi, but the chi travels with the breath.
And then just doing a little bit of um, <clears throat> the single arm practice. First, we'll do the right side, then we'll do the left. And <clears throat> you can count to yourself. Um, if you can maintain the count without actually saying the numbers, that's fine too. Um, somewhere along the way, you can let go of saying the numbers, but until that rhythm is fixed in your body, um, we sometimes need to do so. So stepping out and continuing right into your bow stance. No break. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 and step together. So go back and let's do the left foot forward. But start again with feet comfortably together. <clears throat> and begin stepping out. And then uh, stepping forward with the left foot and begin seven, eight, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and close. Right back to the first one. You did somewhere. Uh -huh. I think I needed more practice on that one, so <laughs> I went back. Anybody have a question in there at all? Okay. So let's go to the form. Um, Dave raised a question about transitions uh, earlier. Anybody else have any particular um, form questions? Uh, just one for me towards the end, the footwork um, between from elbow strike to the end, basically. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not putting my foot, my left foot. I, I don't think my footwork is right for the last two okay. postures in there. So. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. This is with our eyes closed. <laughs> no, you don't have to do it with your eyes closed. <laughs> so um, let's go kind of slowly. I may sort of pause along the way and, and talk about the, the as how we're moving here between posture to posture. So stepping out with the left. We're again going into a right gong bu, making sure that it's neither too narrow nor too short or too long. And we're in the same position that we are when we start um, either the single or double arm practice. As you go into one, you're rotating and sinking and then up left arm pulling back, and that's into ward off. Then rotate and shift back, forming the ball. But remember the ball is actually in the center of the body. It's not over on the right side, it's just in the center. And then as you rotate left, it compresses a little. As you turn right, going in to push downward, the arms close a little and then open as you go down, close as you start through, and open as you come up. Shifting forward and rotating to the angle of that right foot, you go in to embrace the moon, and then as you turn and step to the other corner, the right hand is pulled in. Both arms are bending. The left comes in towards the body. The right positions with the edge inside the forearm. You shift onto the left and rotate towards that left foot, turning both arms push forward. And, so, and suddenly I'm stuck. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> so then we go into <clears throat> shoulder cow. So we step up with the right, we rotate right and step forward with the left empty, 
And then we're rotating right as we shift the weight more onto the left and expand into cow. Then we shift forward, arms separating. Left is going forward and up. The right is going down. And we reset that right foot in. And then we go back and down through a little bit of an arc so that we sit down a bit here as we make that connection. And then we rotate up, adjusting the left foot, come down through the S curve, keeping that right arm constantly rotating. And you sit down lower than your base level so that as you go into elbow, you're going to rise a little on that right leg and turn right, positioning the left foot to the corner. And as you do that, the right fist comes to the center. And the, I mean, sorry, left fist comes to the center, the right palm positions a couple of inches away from it. The left elbow is going directly out over the left foot, over the left toes. And as you shift the weight forward, the right palm touches the left fist, adding the energy of the right to the left. And then as you continue forward, they're going to separate. <clears throat> I can't stop and do these in the you shift forward as you rotate in the direction of the left foot, you go to embrace the moon and then step the right foot forward, then you're going to rotate and shift to your dynamic limit, turning halfway forward, and then just rotate all the way forward to complete lie split. Places where you need more specific explanation. Uh, just to answer my question, which you basically did, you end up in a bow stance in the exact same direction as you began the whole flow. Yes. Okay. You do. Okay. Thank you. That was good. <laughs> um, and part of the reason for that. Um, um, Jeff, <clears throat> is that when you get to this position, remember, if, if you think about it, what this actually is, is seven, eight, and then right. we have transition. This is, of course, from the double arm practice, but that brings you right back to your starting point. Right. Okay. And you're ready then to go right into ward off right. Okay, great. That, that whole flow was extremely helpful, by the way, the detail that you went into gave me a lot of information that I either didn't have or wasn't using. So thank you. Sure. Anyone else have a question in there? That was a lot of questions. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so let's just flow a little. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll try not to go too fast. <laughs> but one of the things to remember is that just as I was uh, talking at the beginning of class, when you're ready to go into these separate parts of the practice, into the form or into the single or double arm, take a moment. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
<laughs> Take more than a moment. Stand. Be aware of your body and your breathing. Feel your mind moving through your body. Extend your mind through your body. Each of these movements is expressing a different energy. The only way you can feel those energies is to extend your mind through your body. If any of you have taken any of Rick Barrett's uh, workshops, his use of extending the finger, the forefinger, may help you actually in this, because that does encourage getting the mind to move through and to extend through the body. And begin Tai Chi. Stepping out empty, rotating into your right gong bu and right in to ward off right. And roll back, Liu. Push downward on. Press forward, G. Cow, shoulder. Side, pull down. Cow, shoulder, elbows. <laughs> and Lie, split. And transition and ward off right. You roll back on push down. G press forward. How shoulder. Side, pull down. Shoulder, elbow. Lie, split. Any questions? Okay, I'd like you to do that on your own. <laughs> Open. <laughs> well, you can do either one.
Okay, uh, Jeff, that was pretty good. Um, the the one one thing uh, is after you've done ward off, um, Leo rollback begins with shifting back as you turn, so you don't. So after you've gone to to um, ward off. That first turn, remember one is shift back and turn, two is just turn. Oh, okay. So all the all the shifting is done in that first part. Yep, and just the same just the same as it does in the walks. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was shifting the entire time. Yep. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yep. <laughs> Joyce. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> your bow stance changes width as you're going along. I see what you're saying. Sometimes it's narrow, sometimes it's not. Um, so um, you might just work on in your practice on trying to stabilize where what that width is. The place where I saw, I, um, I suggest th this refinement for you is going into um, cow and psi. So you know what? <laughs> I'll 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 put me up here so you can uh, see me for a minute. Find me. So uh, after you, when you do uh, press forward, remember, A, the, that left foot is on an angle to the left. It's not straight ahead. So you're, you're turned a little bit in that direction when you complete. You're not trying to get fully into um, a bow stance with the hips facing in the direction of the left foot because the right foot is still on an angle. So you're, this is, this is a, an, an adaption, if you will. Uh, this is a slightly, you're turned more or less in the direction of that left foot, but not all the way. When you go into cow, if you look at my feet, both feet are on an angle going to the right. Neither one of them is straight ahead. And that allows you to rotate the body forward to do that bump. So not having the feet are not either one of them pointing straight ahead. They're both angled to the right. And then when you go into Psy and you narrow the position of that left foot, when you go back and down, you have to go down 
over and down on that right foot. So you can go up on the right foot and down on the right foot to here because you have to be um, able to go up to place the foot. That's not the reason for going down inside, obviously. This is a pull down. You're, you're pulling somebody down to the earth. So you're, um, that's why you're going down, but you go down below base level so that when you go into that step, um, boop, 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 uh, step, you simply go up to your base level to place the foot. You don't go up and down at all. So that whole section had a few little bits and pieces. Um, David, when you put that foot down um, to go into elbow strike, I think it is, is that on an ankle as well? Yes, to the left. Okay. Angle to the Okay. Because you're setting up the position for your bow stance to the on the with the right foot forward in lie. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Thank you very much. Thank you for all of that. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. I will practice. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Good. Um, well, that's Jeff. I don't need to see Jeff again. Yeah, I, I actually sat down. I didn't know if you were done or not. <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. Uh, where's... Uh, What do you get this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, Carol. <laughs> um, so going into to, um, well, both again, so Cowan and Sai seem to be the, the problems here. Um, um, isn't this weird? I don't know how to get rid of this. There you are. No, that gets the whole thing going. Excuse me a moment here. I'm just trying to. Okay, I can get me in the air. There we go. Okay. okay. So, um, after a press, um, I think you were pretty good into into cow, but here you need to think um, you're not going up as you start in the tsai, but you are going down as you sink into that right foot, and the arm comes over in an arc into here, because you're turning, the body is rotating left as you come to here. And then you rotate and rise, and here you're at, at not at the, the highest you could possibly be, but you're at a raised level. And then this sinks all the way down to below 
face level facing straight ahead to the side so that you have some place to rise from to your base level to go into cow. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that gives it a little more punch, David. Thank you. Yep. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um. What word are you looking for? I'm looking for, uh, is this Dave? Yes. So I'm looking for. Hmm? We all need a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Dave, um, <laughs> I, I do need you here in person. You're quite right. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> there, there are um, several spots in, in, particularly as you pointed out in the transitions, um, where just a little tweaking needs to, to happen. Um, remember that um, as, as actually um, a number of people uh, seem to have uh, difficulty with um, rollback that after you've um, gone up in the ward off right, that that first movement is rotating right and sitting back and the ball forms and then just rotate to complete roll back, the second part of it. And then Basically, you had, I could see the, the intention in on. Um, we could work on that a little bit more when you're, I think, in person. Um, when you go to, to go into press, there, there are two things that, that uh, happen. One is you, you rotate and shift forward onto that right foot and you go to embrace the moon first. And then you rotate and step to the corner, saving some rotation for the completion. So you shift forward and then there's that smaller rotation to complete the posture. So there's a couple of, of things you might uh, work on there. Mm, yeah, I could see I skipped uh, Embrace the Moon, <laughs> went right into it. Yeah, yeah. Because there's a, um, it seems I want to do that when I bring my left foot up <clears throat> to just kind of let the hands cross. Yeah, yeah. So um, getting that, that movement into Embrace the Moon where it occurs is actually it, in the young long form as Master Joe taught it, that occurs over and over and over. So it's right. a part of the way we do that form. 
So um, Thank you. I, I think maybe we've gone as far as we can go today. <laughs> Anyone have a, a last minute thought or question? Well, great. It's been good to see you. Remember, this is the first class of a new session. Um, uh, thank you for checks I have received. If you uh, haven't sent payment, um, I'd be delighted to receive it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so have a great couple of weeks. And thank you. Stay safe Bye, in the middle. <laughs> Bye, Joyce. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye, 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 everybody. <laughs> Bye, 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 Thank you, David. I'm glad you recorded. I'm glad you recorded all those corrections. <laughs> those yeah. Yeah. To revisit. I think, uh, I think that may be helpful. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Happy uh, New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. <laughs> bye bye. Any last minute question, Jeff? Uh, just a last minute comment. I wanted to say that I actually I was not sure how I was gonna feel about just having class every two weeks. But now that we're doing it, I think it's actually a really good thing for me. And I'm glad that you have that type of schedule because of the way my life is, I would have found it very difficult to be here every Monday. Uh -huh. So I'm really, I, I like the scheduling that you have and I appreciate that. I just wanted to say that. Oh, good. I'm glad it works for you. Yeah, it's working out well, so thanks. <laughs> You're very welcome. It's it's nice to see you. I miss seeing you. <laughs> I know. Same here. Believe me. Same here. Yeah. So, that's another good aspect of it is I stay in touch with you. And I mean, you're, you know, you're just as, from my perception, you're just as aware of everything that all of us students are doing and as, as good at explaining it and helping us with it as when I left there, you know, seven <laughs> plus years ago so you're, I, you're, I you're like to think I may even be a little better <laughs> you may be. Uh, honestly you may be you haven't skipped a beat so I just want to let you know that thank you thank you All right. take care my friend we'll see you soon you too okay bye-bye bye-bye <laughs>